Welcome to our video on how to get started. This video covers how to brainstorm ideas, link your ideas, write your text sections, restructure your ideas, print your map, and use features like 3D view, import from other programs, and use a touch screen. Open a new document and double click anywhere to start to create ideas. Type a short descriptive note for what you want to include. Press your enter or return key when you finished one. Keep going until you have as many ideas as you can think of. To exit brainstorming, press enter or return again. Click once to make a new idea node, and again to exit the mode entirely. To link ideas, click once and hold your idea over another. The second branch idea will remain pink, a top level central idea. Keep connecting your ideas until you have the whole list roughly how you want it. They don't need to be their own sections as we've done here. Instead, you can write individual points you want to make. To start writing, double click an idea and the text editor for this section will open. Again, you don't need to write in complete sentences here. You can just use bullet points. You can close or move the text window as you like. Press the button labeled Map Text to view in split screen mode. This view shows both the idea map and its text sections. Under any pink central idea are its branched ideas. First are purple chapters, then green sections and further subsections. Each node is identified by clockwise position around its branch idea. Click into any text section to start editing. Our introduction currently comes after one of our main body chapters. To fix that, grab the main body idea and pull it behind the introduction chapter. Introduction is now ahead of the other chapter in clockwise order and on the text panel. To preview how the document will look printed, go to File and Print Preview. Finally, let's take a closer look at certain features like 3D View. Press the 3D View button to make your idea map pop. Use the thumb wheels to tilt and rotate the map. Rotate the map to view it from a different side angle. Tilt the map to view from higher or lower. If you already have some maps from other programs, you can import them. For example, here's one we imported from Inspiration. Go to File and Import, then choose the map you want to use. Now we can keep up the pace. You can also use a touch screen to interact with your map even in 3D. Use common gestures like spreading or pinching to zoom in or out. Rotate the screen with your fingers or stylus to rotate the map as well. This was a video guide to help you get started. For more videos with additional features, go to ideamapper.com.